the magnificent fig tree. Ecologically speaking, fig trees are arguably the most important group of tree species in the tropics. Fig trees provide shelter and food for creatures large and small. Many fig trees have staggering flowering and fruiting, so there is always food available somewhere in the forest. The fruits come in all sizes and colors. Spider monkeys love them, as well as many bird species. They are veritable supermarkets. Fig trees that are stranglers start out as epiphytes on other trees and send down roots to the forest floor. These roots grow, expand, and fuse, wrapping around the host tree. With time, the host tree dies out, leaving the immense fig tree with a hollow center. Even in the hollow center, there is an ecosystem where katydids and small fruit bats feed on the falling figs. One of the most important seed dispersers for fig trees are the Jamaican fruit-eating bats. These medium-sized bats do live in Jamaica, but also from Mexico to Ecuador and Venezuela. Yes, man. Their sonogram of echolocation calls ranges from 50,000 hertz to 100,000 hertz. Figs can comprise 60% of their diet. They have these racy facial stripes that vary in intensity depending on how cool you are. That's not really true. In some habitats, Jamaican fruit-eating bats can feed up to 90 species of plants, eating mostly their fruits, but during pregnancy, protein-rich leaves are eaten too. Usually the figs are taken away to be eaten in peace. Thus, they are good seed dispersers. But here we have a slacker eating just outside the door of the convenience store, so to speak. Jamaican fruit-eating bats have a single pup, born near the end of the dry season and midway through the wet season. Here you can see the pup sucking up bat milk on the right-hand side. And yes, it is a big baby. Flying with a baby must be hard. They live in harems, in caves, hollow trees, leaf tents, etc., where a single male will guard up to 25 females during the breeding season. The male in this harem is in the lower right corner. The new world record for bat flight is 99 miles an hour, but this time a Jamaican didn't win. The frosted fur is characteristic of this species. Bats call this hogging the papaya. Studies have shown that Jamaican fruit-eating bats fly between 1 to 10 kilometers every night from their roost to feeding sites. This species doesn't usually cause enough damage to be a problem for papaya farms. Adios!